I think we're all in the same boat this year with COVID. Unfortunately, I didn't do as well as I'd hoped. I think I, a little rust to knock off. Once again, Mr. Cone takes me down. No, can't end like this. My binding broke off. Killington's very own Rob Cone. And winner once again today, Robert Cone. We have the young guns come in, all top 30 guys in the World Cup. We'll see if Nolan does well. So I'm definitely, I think, the oldest guy, the guy with all the wisdom. Robert Cohn has won six out of the last seven races. Robert Cohn! Robert Cohn! This is the World Pro Ski Tour, and our next stop on the tour, Granby Ranch in the Rocket Mortgage Cup. I'm John Franklin, CEO of the World Pro Ski Tour. We had a great season this year. We started in Granby Ranch, Colorado with a great event with Bodie Miller and announced his academy. From there, we went to Aspen, Colorado, where we held the race on the famed Little Nell Run, a site of many pro racing battles from the 1970s, 80s, and 90s. From there, we traveled to Steamboat Springs, Colorado, a perennial stop on our tour. It's a great race hill, big dog leg, really challenges the racers. Then we went to our world championships in Taos, New Mexico. Three years in planning, finally we were able to pull that off after being allowed by the state of New Mexico, which had got us through COVID. And a great event there, men's and women's world championships, Solemn and Giant Solemn. Overall, the 221-222 season brought some great milestones for the World Pro Ski Tour. We gave out over half a million dollars in prize money to both men and women. We had equal podium prize money for the men and women. We launched the women's tour and we doubled down on the number of men's events. We're super excited about next season. We're gonna go even bigger and better. Barbie really wants this dream house and Barbie found out about it from Rocket Homes. She did? Well, it's a super competitive market. Everyone wants to buy the dream house. Better off for Betty, cash off for Carl. Oh no. Don't worry, she has a verified approval that lets sellers know she's backed by Rocket Mortgage. So Barbie wins. But we need a house. You could buy Castle Gray School. <laughs> Find and finance your dream house with Rocket Homes and Rocket Mortgage. Here is a place situated off the map of ordinary a place that is independent, free-spirited, and intimate in scale. A place that since its first lift was installed over 60 years ago, has strived to stay true to its roots while growing better rather than bigger. This vision for the future has helped make us the first ski resort in the world to earn B Corp certification. It's a symbol of where we're headed and what we stand for. We hope you will join us. For more than half a century, Seiko has been supporting athletes in their efforts to be the best. Now, we want to bring this reliable technology to anyone striving for a goal. Because we understand, a split second can change everything. Keep going forward. Prospects. One person's trash is definitely another person's treasure. In our case, we recycle those items into art. This is about the recycling that doesn't belong in your blue bin. It's the items that grandma stored in her attic. These items deserve a second life as well. And we get everything from brass school instruments to fabric samples to paints, everything you can think of that you would need to turn into something new. I know we're successful when we've unlocked someone's creativity. We provide the raw material to do that. We've had a big summer on the World Pro Ski Tour. We've been able to bring in a couple of new sponsors. Super exciting for us. We've got a mainstream sports sponsor in Rocket Mortgage. They sponsor the Super Bowl, and now they sponsor the World Pro Ski Tour. 
In addition, Seiko. We've got help with timing from Seiko. Anybody who lives in the modern world has heard of Seiko watches, and they're joining us this year on the World Pro Ski Tour. In addition, Revo Eyewear. So we've had a great summer. We're building momentum, and we're looking forward to this season. I'm Bodie Miller here at Granby Ranch for the World Pro Ski Tour. Ready for an awesome day. Cold and going to be fast. I think the pro format is unique. It's different. It's 100% appropriate for racing. It's super small margins for error, all out, full gas, start to finish. I mean, the length of the pro circuit race is typically much shorter than a World Cup race. And the big difference is head to head, where for a viewer in World Cup, you're relying on split times. It's impossible to tell where someone's at unless you have a magical eye. My name is Nolan Casper from Warren, Vermont, and I'm a three-time Winter Olympian for the U.S. My name is Rob Cohn. I'm a ski racer from Killington, Vermont. I grew up right there and racing on the U.S. ski team, and I also raced NCAA for Middlebury College. Granby's a clean slate to me. I really haven't been any closer than Kremling on my way to Steamboat and other races around Colorado. So excited to be here, excited to see the hill and see how the whole staff prepared it. I'm just generally excited to race here at Granby. A place that I've never been before. We're like 30 minutes past Winter Park towards Steamboat. Uh, but I got out in the hill yesterday on the other side of the mountain where we're not racing. It's a great little area, cool little community where there's a lot of houses interspersed and, and I think, you know, a really great family resort. Because there was no snow, natural snow, until a couple days ago, we're dealing with all man-made. So we're dealing with a little bit of steeps on the start and then quite flat down here. So it's going to be a tough set to keep it exciting, but if we set it just right and they can power the ski, we should be okay. Today under sunny skies and temperatures in the teens, racers have a chance for first place and they are fired up and chomping at the bit. Who do you want to win it? Probably Rob Cohn. Yeah, that's like that. This is always a great rivalry between you two. Nolan, who wants it more? I definitely think I do. Rob's been here enough times. So time to take him down. One run. Let's go. Race is ready. Oh, of course, they go past but very fast out of the start. He had a little bit of an advantage built into the start doors, but he touches down first. It's Casper out front. Can he stop the charge of Robin Cohn in the middle of the course? It's Cohn now. Pulls away from Casper. Let's see who touches down over the boat. Casper's still right there with him. Looks like Cohn has the advantage to me. From this angle, you can't tell in the booth, though. Touch it down. Looks like Casper trying to straighten it out. It's Cohn to Casper. Who is it? Looks like we're going to the photo. We're going with too close to call right now. Sit tight. We've got an update. Verified by the video. Nolan Casper by 0.016 seconds at the finish for the win. Unbelievable racing. Congratulations to Nolan Casper. Oh, you know, it's been a long time since I've won one of these. It's nice to be back, one on the podium and two on top. It's really nice to be back here, back on top, and you know, this is a different race than we've had in the past, and I think we all really enjoyed it, and we're psyched to be back, especially given everything the last year and a half. The conditions are cold, the course is hard, the racers are excited to get back out there. It's the Granby Ranch Open, presented by one of our longtime sponsors, Tough Shed. Yeah, the Pro Tour being here at Granby is a great partnership. It's a short hill, but absolutely more than you need for appropriate training and appropriate high-level racing. So it's no surprise that the Pro Circuit is here for me. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect venue for it. I'm Drew Duffy, I'm from Warren, Vermont, neighbors with Nolan Casper. I was on the US ski team for five years after high school and then skied at Dartmouth College. Went to two NCAAs for them. I was US national champion in Super G in 2015. I was a teammate of Drew Duffy's on the US team. I think he's a tremendous skier. He's a fellow Vermonter. Grew up a couple miles down the road on Route 100. He's a great skier, like how he skis, and I just want to see him perform, but um, hopefully I can still stave him off. Chilling? Just a fruit. Oh, I'm me. trying. Let's go, Rob. Let's go, Michael. Get drifty, baby. A few hundreds of a second. That's all you need. You got a minute. 
Yeah. One minute, that's it. If I had a pin right now, I would drop it and y'all could hear it. That's how quiet it is up here. A lot of stress going on right now. We got Drew Duffy, yeah. Nolan Casper in the finals. Race, 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 race is ready. ready to go. It's Casper getting the jump on the rookie. There we go. Casper out in the front. He's been quick out of the start. He's really got that timing down. I think the snow is great. Tracks hold up really well. And got a new pair of boards out. And they like the flats. So see if I can harness it for a couple more runs. But here comes Duffy pulling alongside Casper. Casper has been really fast at the bottom. Anybody's race. This is going to be one that we're going to have to go to the tape. No, it's Duffy crossing first. Nolan Casper has to make up that time to win. Nolan won yesterday, but Drew right now, he's poised and ready. It's all coming down to the wire. Racer's ready! As the light goes down, the drag race on snow begins. Nolan Casper, Duffy touches down behind Casper out in front, trying to make up that point zero four five. that Duffy hold on for the first run. Drew's going to make it up. It's right here. Can Duffy close the gap down? Casper has the advantage. Right here. Come on, Nolan still got it. It's going to be back to back for Casper. Here comes Duffy. I think it's still Nolan. He's going to hammer away. It's going to be Casper. Oh, I don't know. Go to Clark. Oh, Drew Duffy wins. Point, point one, three, nine. The wow. rookie wins. Duffy did it? Duffy did it, everybody. Drew Duffy has arrived on the World Pro Ski Tour. We're here in Aspen, Colorado, at the top of the Little Nell Run. It's the first time pro racing has been back here in about 30 years. So we're super excited to get down to the action on this race course. Here we are at the best mountain in the world, Aspen Mountain. It's got awesome skiing, but um, the fact that it goes right to the base of town, you get off the slopes and, and you're in downtown Aspen. I know that it's expensive, it's like a high-end skiing area. I don't know anything about the hills, really. I'm thinking of us like dumb and dumber going to Aspen, <laughs> trying to figure it out. So I'm excited to learn more and, and see the place. And there are some good athletes that have signed up. I saw the list last night. And it's always fun to watch you know, some of the World Cup guys try to beat our, our guys. Our guys obviously have an advantage because they know the starts and they've done it before and they know kind of how I set. But it is, it's really fun to, to watch the competition and the competition this weekend is going to be some of the best in the world. To make the podium tomorrow, I have to ski fast. <laughs> you know, it's pro racing. You have to send it all the way down from the first round on until the last round without mistakes. To see the reintroduction of World Pro Skiing here in Aspen is truly inspiring. I'd have to go back a number of years to the first generation with Bob Biatti and the introduction of World Pro Skiing and all the great personalities and world-class athletes. If I ski well, uh, that's enough to win. Jean-Claude Keeley, Andre Duviard, the Palmer brothers. Palmer puts on a burst of speed at the finish and wins the race. Otto Chudy, Moose Barrows, Spider Savage. I'm skiing well enough to win right now. I know I can win this event here. They were all in my living room because my mom and dad were Olympic skiers. And to welcome everybody back to Aspen in this tradition with the World Pro Ski Tour is just a privilege. A professional racer is a highly tuned athlete. And unlike an amateur who races against a clock, he's a sprinter who races man against man, side by side for eight runs. Athletes are starting to come around and do the inspection. We'll decide soon here if we're gonna do the test doors. If we're gonna let them test them. It's getting a little soft. This is like 32 degrees and there's like a blanket. So we're trying to get everything cleared off so the snow doesn't turn too soft. Some people have a good feel for the snow and some people just hit it and get off of it. I think we'll really see who has the best touch. Hello fans of the White Circus. We are here in snowy Aspen, Colorado, and for the next 30 minutes, brace yourselves for some edge of your seat excitement as the best ski racers on the planet challenge their grit and their determination, their patience and their wits tested right here on Little Nell. And this is the new World Pro Ski Tour presented by Rocket Mortgage. Racers ready! <laughs> Cone out front with that advantage with the doors opening first. It's Robert Cone, your defending tour champion, has not been on the top step of the podium this year. It's Camelander. 
get himself on the top step of the podium into the second jump. It looks like it's Camelander's closed the gap on Cone. Can Camelander get it done today? Watch it so bad. Here he is right alongside Cone. That's going to be a close one. Off the bottom bump is going to be touched down. Oh, Camelander's wide. Looks like Cone is out in front of Camelander. The oh. winner is Camelander's point three. Oh, zero three on the top step. He's been wanting it so bad for so long. Playing in the snow there. That was epic. I'm going to head to the crowd for the finish. Unbelievable. Thank you to everybody. Well, Simone, not only do you get the watch, you get a check for $10,000 first place prize money. So you can use that on your way to the Olympics for Bolivia. this dream house and Barbie found out about it from Rocket Homes. She did? Well, it's a super competitive market. Everyone wants to buy the dream house. Better off for Betty, cash off for Carl. Oh no. Don't worry, she has a verified approval that lets sellers know she's backed by Rocket Mortgage. So Barbie wins. But we need a house. You could buy Castle Gray School. <laughs> Find and finance your dream house with Rocket Homes and Rocket Mortgage. In general, ski racing is a pretty tough sport. Racers ready? Using my DNA vibe has allowed me to train harder, longer, and recover faster. Less days off, more time on the snow, beating my competitors. Having another option to be doing what we love and to continue to race, it just keeps the sport open and keeps you in it. Any sort of accessibility into the sport is really important. We want everyone to get involved. It's open registration every single race. And at the end of the day, it is about the community. And so we want both males, both females, ex-US ski teamers, ex-college races, ex-USSA racers, everyone to just come out and kind of just like bask in the glory of the sport. I know that the Pro Tour has done maybe one or two women's races before, but trying to incorporate more women's races in this whole series, I think is an awesome initiative. I mean, I personally watch every single women's World Cup race. My girlfriend, Nina O'Brien, is 15th in the world in GS right now. She's prepping for the Olympics. And I could see her and her teammates coming to some of these races. Hi, I'm Galena Wardle. I'm from Aspen, Colorado. I ski for the University of Denver, and we're here today for the Women's World Pro Ski Tour. I'm a previous US ski team member, DU athlete this year, and I'm really excited to race the Pro Tour in Aspen, my hometown. I'm retired. <laughs> Coming out of retirement for the Pro Tour. I'm still, racing. still racing. I'm a postgraduate um, out of high school and going to college next year. Also, the fact that it's a duel, like you're literally going at the same time as somebody else just has, adds a whole other dynamic. Robert Cohn, I think, is maybe a little upset, so I'd watch out for Robert today, to be honest. I mean, Rob Cohn, everybody thinks he's winning, or I don't know. I know he's the guy to beat here. Come on, yeah, let's be real. <laughs> I know he's been doing well at Pro Tours. I haven't raced against him before, I think, but he's been training a bit with us sometimes. You should be winning World Cups too. I mean, your skiing is incredible. No way, I like it here in the US. I like being stateside and uh, going all these hills.
Well, today is the opposite of yesterday, I would say. We uh, have gorgeous sun. It was about 10 degrees last night. We put a cat on the hill right when swing shift started. I think the course is gonna hold up wonderfully today. Um, I mean, it's beautiful. Today has the potential to be the best pro tour race yet. All right, this is Katie Busterstein here with the University of Utah. I'm gonna give you guys a course preview. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. I think the jumps are gonna be super sweet. Woo! It might sneak up on you if you aren't careful though. Woo! Jumps are pretty big, but they made a nice landing, so it should be nice. Jump! Woo! Man, this is a little bumpy. Sunny day here in Aspen, Colorado for the Men's World Pro Ski Tour, the Revan Cup. And it's the inaugural Women's Pro Tour race also. We have eight ladies here racing in the Rocket Mortgage Cup right here at Aspen Mountain. Caroline, what do you think your chances are in the final going up against Tuva? We've trained together, but so hopefully it'll be a good fight. Race is ready. Norby gets that three tenths of advantage built in at the start. Good solid start by Tuva coming into the first bump. She has that advantage built in at the start and she's holding on to it. Clean and smooth, good angles at the top of the turn, controlling the run as she mids the middle bump. Jones trying everything she can do to close the gap. But Tuva here in the finals at Aspen for the women. It's to the bottom bump. Tuva's looking smooth. She's coming in over that final bump and it is coming down to the finish right here. Caroline is fighting, but oh! Man down for Tuva. But she crossed the finish line. Spectacular finish right there. That's what happens when you're throwing yourself down the line for the $10,000. Seeing 14 girls show up today is just the start. This is a huge event for girls ski racing, and I hope that we continue to see girls come from all over, whether or not it's before college, after college, during World Cup. World Cup. Let's do it. In our last race, the Bolivian Olympian Simone Breifus Camelander clawed his way to the top of the podium. Who's going to be victorious here at the Revan Cup? Let's find out now. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to make it down. The course is really dishing out, and everyone's really figuring out the start, so there's no really no secret sauce to uh, beating these guys. First run of the finals for the Rocket Mortgage World Pro Ski Tour, and this is the Revan Cup. Racers ready! Out on track they go. The doors open simultaneous, but Cohn gets a jump on Joachim Lindstahl at the first bump. It looks like Lindstahl putting the pressure on. We raced each other to the gate in Chicago. We were delayed and we, we stayed the night, toured Chicago, raced him to the gate after that. Once they drop off the bottom bump, that'll tell the picture. Looks like Lindstahl coming on strong. Cohn on the blue course side. Looks like he's going to cross the line first. It's winner Cohn. I mean, I got nothing to lose. He got everything to lose, so. We're just gonna have fun. Racers ready! The door is open first for Cohn. 19 one hundredths of a second. But Lindstahl right there with him. Looks like he's putting the pressure on early. Cone out in front, but he's cool and calculated. Cone feet are far away from the gate. Gets some energy out of the ski. It's Robert Cone at the bump. Cone out in front. What's Lindstahl have at the bottom? Lindstahl starting to close in at the bump. It's going to be Cone with the advantage. Can Lindstahl do some magic down here? Cone out in front. Lindstahl hooks an arm almost. Trying to straighten it out. It's Robert Cone back to the top step of the podium. Cone wow. psyched about that. It is Robert Cohn who's going to leave here with the tour lead. Pumped to come away with the victory. Thank you. The champagne's going to spray. Thank you so much, Aspen, Colorado. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the beautiful blue skies of sunny Colorado and the World Pro Ski Tour presented by Rocket Mortgage. Right here, over my shoulder, Howison Hill, deeply saturated in history. This place has been the proving grounds for skiers of all calibers for more than a century. It's also a favorite stop on the tour for Olympians, national team members, and also NCAA champions. Super excited to be back in Steamboat. It's a much different hill than we've seen this year on the tour so far. Granby and Aspen, both kind of moderate, where you as a skier need to produce the energy. Steamboat, as you can see, a little steeper. So we got gravity that helps uh, to produce the energy. So today it's gonna be a little bit more about mitigating the mistakes rather than trying to be as powerful as possible on every single turn. 
So Howelson Hill is the oldest ski resort in North America, and the Winter Carnival is quite a scene. And there's probably 10,000 people here. They have fans. They have ski jumping. They have mogul competitions. They had a bike race down this course, believe it or not, and they were going off these jumps. It's one of the neatest ski towns that I've ever been to. And it's such a nice cowboy town and everyone's friendly and everyone gets along and they do everything top notch here. So we're really excited to be here. My name is Tuva Norby. I am an alumni from the University of Denver Ski Team. I skied with them from 2015 to 2019 and we won two national championships when I was there. And after college, I went back to Norway and skied two years on the Norwegian national team. Last year, I actually retired from ski racing, but I guess I came out of retirement to do the pro ski tour race a month ago. And yeah, it was exciting. I won the first women's pro tour ski race, so that was awesome. It's my first time skiing like pro tour, so. I didn't know that they opened up for girls as well, but when Tuva came home with 10 grand, I really wanted to give it a shot, that's for sure. I'm Caitlin Harsh. I ski for the CU ski team. I'm a senior this year, so trying to make the most of my last couple months. This is just the most fun race, I think, in, in ski racing that you could possibly do. It just the environment is so fun. Everyone is supporting each other, and you know, we're all really close. We've grown up skiing against these girls. And having like a dual format, it just brings out like the competitive side of each of us even more. Hi, I'm Barrett Stein, the event director for the World Pro Ski Tour. We're here at beautiful Howelson Hill. It's a beautiful course, beautiful hill. The Howelson crew did such an amazing job building this hill. We always have it a little turnier here to control their speed somewhat. We have three jumps today, two five-footers approximately, one about three feet here at the finish. So it should be one of the best race days that we've had, is my guess. Welcome back to Colorado and the World Pro Ski Tour presented by Rocket Mortgage. Howelson Hill, deeply saturated in tradition. This place has been the proving grounds for skiers of all calibers for more than a century. The tour has enthusiastically opened its doors to the ladies, giving the women the green light to win some green, equal green. The men and women are competing for equal prize money and on the exact same course. What a game changer. Race is ready. <laughs> Some runs have been very, very scrappy and a little scary, and some have been good. So it could be anything. <laughs> anything can happen, and that's what's so cool about this. Today was a really tight race. I think the final was decided over, I think it was 2,000 so seconds. So I was lucky to have the time on my side today. This season has provided fans with lots of thrills and also with different racers on the top step at every race, telling us that the field is getting better and faster every time they step into the start house. Looks like I'm still skiing fast, so we all go for refinements. Burgers are on high. <laughs> Water's boiling. Let's put in the pasta. Best of luck to both. Racers ready! <laughs> We're ready to stay in and uh, grip and rip it.
and the guy that fights harder than anybody here on the podium all the time back in the number one spot, Michael Ankeny. Time for the Corbell Champagne, our official champagne of the World Pro Ski Tour. We've got one more dual super solemn among the men. Yesterday, Michael Ankeny came back and won. It's his first victory since two seasons ago at Eldora. So he's super pumped up to race again, going for two in a row. But Robert Cohn's got the target on Michael's back and is looking forward to try and take the top step away from Michael Ankeny tonight. We're doing some start gate testing. The Pro Tour uses horse gates, which open up from the center. 900 pound magnets to keep them closed so when the, the lights count down to the start gates open up racers explode out if the racer tries to time it and hits the gate it's called a barge and it worse than anything it throws them off because it knocks them back while the other racer takes off Oh, hey, didn't see you there. This is the Surefoot course preview. Now, as you can see there on the right, there's the lights that count down from five. It's really important to time it. So you're coming out right when it opens. And then up top here, we've got some hard right foot fall away turns that you really need to set up coming into this jump. You need to go off with a flat ski absorb and get quickly on the edge to make sure that you're on top of it on this steep pitch. Second jump. Not too big, but then it stacks up here, so you need to bring good shape off that jump. Now you're building speed on each one. Absorb a small little jump, grab the tuck, and reach for the line. It was a wild ride, but that was your sure foot course preview. This is the Moose Barrows Trophy, presented by DNA Vibe. My name is Jim Barrows. We're standing at Howlson Hill, where I grew up to graduate and to go to the University of Colorado to ski. Moose is from Steamboat, and he used Howlson Hill as his proving grounds before getting catapulted into the mix of the best ski racers in the world. Then in 1971, Moose shifted his attention to the Pro Ski Tour. He's just trying to ride the pony and be a joker, but I'm trying to be Captain America straight to business. Couldn't have asked for a better weekend. Hill was great, crowd was great, weather was great. It's just good to be back here with Buds and uh, I look forward to a long-standing rivalry with Rob, Simone, new guy. And uh, yeah, don't forget to ride the pony. Here is a place situated off the map of ordinary, a place that is independent, free-spirited, and intimate in scale. A place that since its first lift was installed over 60 years ago has strived to stay true to its roots while growing better rather than bigger. This vision for the future has helped make us the first ski resort in the world to earn B Corp certification. It's a symbol of where we're headed and what we stand for. We hope you will join us. I love having a 15-step commute um, to my office. <laughs> it makes it super easy in the morning. I loved working with Tough Shed because I could get the really nice office space I wanted for a price that worked for me. Very easy to finish out the interior of the shed. The studs are where they need to be for an interior finish. And it helps me to really disconnect from, from work than when I go inside. I love the, the separation between the two. So I really had an easy process with Tough Shed. In New Mexico, agua es vida. As kids, we learned to fish in the Rio Gainas. At the time, we didn't realize it was the lifeline of the town. And for a minute, the town forgot as well. But we cleaned it up and restored it to its natural state. 
It gives people this chance to see an amazing bird, like a summer tanager, in a place where you don't expect. It's just so inspiring to see nature bounce back. This weekend we're hosting our first world championships in 25 years in Taos, New Mexico. Between the tour, our sponsors, and our partners at Taos, we're able to offer $250,000 in prize money this weekend, evenly split between men and women, equal prize money, men and women racing on the same courses for the same amount of money. So the world championships, you know, uh, I mean the name explains it. Be world champion, that's the plan of all of the ski racers all around the world, you know, and like we had six great races this season at the Pro Tour, uh, but only with a field of 16 uh, to the finals. And this is the first race after a long time uh, with a full field of 32 racers. So that makes it very excited and uh, yeah, pretty tough and hard racing. It's kind of crazy how much prize money is here compared to all the other races we do all year. So I think that's what draws a huge crowd. And yeah, I mean, ski racing is an expensive sport, so it's definitely going to be cool to win some money. I think it's impressive that they're, they're moving the needle. They're actually making it meaningful money that actually people can look at and be like, wow, that's a lot. Like, these guys are racing hard. And, you know, I can say that's a bigger amount than you win for winning World Cups. Excited to be here. Never raced here. Brand new venue for me, for a lot of racers. Brand new World Championship for the World Pro Ski Tour. And there's a lot of new racers coming from the World Cup, coming from the Olympics, and uh, it's just sort of a new field here for the finals. The Tao Ski Valley is special. Uh, it's different. It's very, very unique. It's very authentic to where it is. It's, it's true to, its, to the Blake family, to the region, to New Mexico. It's world class. It's tremendous. I mean, from the groomers to the lifts to the accommodations. Taos is super unique, for sure, as far as other mountains that we go to. I drove from Denver yesterday. We're coming here and there's like wild horses on the road. Yeah, it's just a little hidden gem. You just pop out in the middle of nowhere and you're like, oh, there's a resort. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Europe, but uh, different with the adobe structures all around. When I came up this morning, just looking at the sheer mass of the mountain, there's this massive bowl with amazing terrain, chutes, cliffs is just a good reminder of how good skiing in New Mexico is and how much of like kind of a diamond in the rough it is. My name is Lino Strasser. I was born and grew up in Munich. Since I was uh, born, my parents always went to Kitzbühel for skiing. There are a lot of good skiers like Mia Kühner was winning European Cups. Nolan Casper was skiing World Cup, Michael Ankeny. All those guys uh, skied very, very good uh, back in the days, and so they do today. My name is Micha Kirner, I'm from Slovenia. My ski racing history dates way back. <laughs> uh, I used to be a World Cup skier, I used to be on a national team in Slovenia. I definitely wasn't a skier that people would point out and say, hey, this guy's technically good. But ever since I became a coach, I started thinking about things differently. And, and my skiing now is, and this is no joke, is 100% better than it ever was. My name is River Radimus. I am an alpine ski racer. Uh, I ski for the US ski team in the winter on the World Cup circuit. I was fourth in the Olympic GS this year. I mostly ski GS, but it's awesome to come back here to the Pro Tour when I can and, and duel it up with these guys. We have definitely a lot of big names. The regulars we had on the Pro Tour before, Tuva Norbayer, Caitlin Harish, and then we have quite a few newbies. Um, Amelia Smart, Paula Moulton, I was a teammate with for a few years. She will definitely be a big name. I think a lot of eyes will be on her. I'm Paula Moulton. I'm a World Cup skier. I travel Europe 98% of the year and ski professionally. Um, and I decided to join the World Pro Ski Tour because I thought it was a great opportunity to kind of take that next step into a different part of ski racing and I love all aspects of ski racing so I think it's an interesting way to compete and um, see a different tour. 
I think obviously the big name on tour for you guys is Tuba. She's uh, a retired college racer, really, really talented athlete, and her also her little sister is here. I know them both pretty well. There's some autograph signing going on here with uh, quite a few legends. When you're in Austria, we are in Europe, Switzerland. I mean, the skiers are the stars. They're the rock stars. And we don't get that much in this country. It was really interesting for me to be sitting next to Franz Klammer. And I said to the kids, do you guys know who this guy is? And I'd say, this is the greatest downhiller of all time. It's nice and sunny. You can never complain when it's uh, sunny outside. Ski racing is a lot more fun. <laughs> Again, it's a new type of new type of race for us with these two big turns and one course takes a big lead midway and then pulls it back. It looks awesome. It's like a little longer I think than the other ones were. Um, I don't know, my first one here, but yeah, it looks sweet. Definitely longer than the last two we had. But very interesting. What number are you? Like yeah, the way that the course has a dog leg here is pretty neat because you get a nice chicane, meaning you can kind of just have little mini turns, just quick edge switches, get through here, snake it, and then have a big left footer and set up this little cut. So it's different. Pump to ski it. Yeah. I'm River Adams, and this is your Surefoot course preview. First section is steep and fast. We gotta go commit. Deep, clean, set up and go. So you're not loaded off, smooth through here, and then you go as fast as you can. One big turn here, then it's a tour of alley, and then you're going to the knee. Get no tuck straight away. Coming through strong on this turn, coming off the jump, and now you're pushing as hard as you can to the finish. One more jump, stand, and reach the line. This has been your Surefoot course preview. Welcome to the World Pro Ski Tour World Championships here at Ski Taos. $50,000 on the line for the women. Overall for this weekend, $250,000 at stake. All right, Paula, what do you say before you go into the final? <laughs> Let's have some fun. Racers ready! Go, go, go. Out goes Bolton with that second advantage when the doors open up. Drops down to the steep pitch of the course, riding the rut well. Good early edge angle, riding that rut clean. Oh, no, out of soft stuff there a little bit. Off the top up. I feel like yesterday was a totally different day, so today I'm just taking it one run at a time, and we'll see what happens. All right, here comes Molson. She's got the big lead. Trisha Mangan not skiing clean. Molson's going to take it. Let's bring her home. Rent her teeth and going for it here. Molson's going to be your champion today. $20,000 Richards here. Unbelievable skiing from Molson. Holy smokes from Paula Molson up there. What an awesome way to put 20 grand in her pocket. But also shout out to Trisha Mangan, who through that entire run was sending it as hard as she possibly could. There's Paula getting a hug with her boyfriend, fiance, Ryan. This is a great way to help with their wedding. Steeped in native culture with a European influence, New Mexico's Taos Ski Valley is hosting the World Pro Ski Tour Taos World Championships presented by Rocket Mortgage. Cletus, what are you going to do for this final race? Same, risk it all, into the track, uh, pull gas. Showtime! Oh, up against the door! Kruder trying to get out early, he gave up that second! That is going to cost him big time! Oh no, tough break for Kruder, now he's in all kinds of trouble! I'm honored to race against him, this is crazy, I mean he is the future Felix Noy right here, no joke. So I'm excited, I think that keeps me running because I'm running on fumes and the adrenaline is keeping me up. Out in front for Stronger, oh what a costly mistake that was, it's all Stronger all by himself for $20,000 in the super slalom here and he towns a lost the line he goes, number one today, Gunnar not happy, he hit those doors hard. Oh, tough break for Gunnar. So, let's start with the ladies here. In fourth place, our tour overall leader, Tommy Norbe. Then from Canada, in third, Stephanie Fleckenstein. Coming down from Canada with pro skiing in, in his blood, Jeffrey Reed. And Miha Gunnar, a tour veteran with a tough break up there in the number two spot. And number one today from Germany, Lena Strauser. 
for all these champions today. We'll be back out tomorrow. We'll do it again with our giant slalom portion of this weekend's world championship. See you tomorrow. My name is Stephanie Fleckenstein, but most people know me by Steph Fleck. I am a Canadian alpine racer. I grew up in Whistler, BC, and I represent Canada, but I am also an independent athlete. Being an independent athlete especially, I'm having to fund my entire season, so this year that required a lot of personal fundraising. And obviously ski racing is not a sport where you make a ton of money all the time, and being new to the World Cup circuit, we're definitely not making any money. Coming to a race where you have a good shot at winning and where there's lots of prize money on the line is very exciting and gives a lot of incentive to show up because it'll help fund our next season. So the Pro Tour has held GSs over the course of its history, but since the resurgence of the Tour, we have not held a GS. We figured it was apropos and fitting to do it at our World Championships. The GS is, is more my speed, more drawn out turns and, and more flow, but I think skiing is skiing, and like I think all skiing can help other skiing. You know, my GS I think helps my slalom, just like my pro tour skiing I think can help my GS skiing. And so I love coming here and challenging myself to try something new. Racers have had a chance to reset for a second day of racing from Taos Ski Valley. For the Rocket Mortgage Women's Tour World Pro Ski Tour, this is the World Championships and it is the giant slalom. It's gonna be a fun course, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Ready for some GS? Should be a fun format. Just skiing carb and go fast and have fun. It's all you, Steph. It's your world. Just here having fun, getting tired. Paula, the reigning champ. Two more runs. See what happens. Racers ready. Down on track they go. Good clean start. Maybe Fleck with a little bit of a jump. Coming down to pitch. Out in that soft snow. Bouncing around. Fleck out front though as they head for the jump. Today was a lot more challenging. Obviously we had some pretty big delays. Which played a big factor at the snow. Oh, but oh, she is down. down. With a long slide off the jump. I took a pretty good digger in that last heat, but I'm happy to be walking away with it and walking away with some cash to pay for my wedding. Paula Moulton is not going to run this, so this will be a victory lap Let's for Steph three. Fleck. Oh, Rocking back on her day. Go, go, go. Out on track, she goes for a victory lap. Looking clean and smooth, having some fun, thinking about 20 grand. They gave me the option to go down for a victory lap, and I figured, why not? Another chance down the course, and it's so fun that may as well. I had so much fun this weekend. The people here are just amazing. The way it's run is everyone's so positive and I mean, there's really no reason to be upset or sad. It's just a good time. <laughs> Let's hear it for Steph like in the finish. Beautiful job. Put your hands together for Steph Fleck, your champion, your world champion here at the World Pro Ski Tour. I had so much fun. I was a little bit tired this morning after yesterday, but God, today was just, it was so fun the whole day. Congrats, Steph. It was a great battle. She skied well all day, so I'm really proud of her, and it was really fun. <laughs> Today, there's even more on the line. Not only will the winners today receive checks for $20,000, but one man and one woman will become the overall World Pro Ski Tour champion for the season. It's showtime in the men's finals. Eric Reed and Trevor Phelps. Well, you know, the last time we met in a parallel was the World Cup in Lec, and he beat me. Out on track goes Reed. We've seen it happen before. Can win from the red, but Trevor Phillips not getting it up yet. Down the pitch you go. Reed put the hand down real quick. Gets it back together, grabs the bullet. Reed out front on the red court side. Here they come. He's got some dirt on me, and I, I'm looking for some redemption this time. I don't know. Hopefully not pay too much attention to Eric in my peripherals and see how hard I can push. Eric Reed right there, out front over Phelp. Is it going to be Eric? It's going to be Eric Reed in the line first. A close one, winning it by point. One, seven, four. Reed to the top step of the podium. Coming into the final against Trevor, I think we put on a great show. I saw him right out of my peripheral coming into that second last jump uh, into the race alley down here. And I managed to just sneak him. So I, I'm super pumped about this. All right, the number one spot today, Steph Fleck. Let's hear it for Steph Fleck! 
right alongside of her, Eric Reed. Yeah. $20,000 checks going out. Big paydays for these guys. My weekend was super fun. Yesterday was a big challenge. I don't think I've ever skied that big of breaths, but I've also never had that much fun ski racing. And yeah, I will definitely be back. If it works out with my World Cup schedule, I'd love to be here at every event. I was going to come down here two years ago. Uh, unfortunately, that was canceled. And I'm really hoping that there's more chances because it's so much fun. It's, it's such an awesome vibe. And I love the atmosphere. And th this group of guys racing are amazing. And it's, it's super fun to see the girls out here too, pushing hard and overall just awesome. I'm looking back on an amazing day, amazing time, um, and it was a pleasure to race here in Taos. Let's hear it one last time for our top finishers here, the World Pro Ski Tour Champions, the World Pro Championships here at Taos. Well, hello guys. I'm super excited to be with you today. I'm Parker Bealy, and on behalf of the World Pro Ski Tour, I want to congratulate you on an amazing 2022 season sponsored by Rocket Mortgage and Tuva winning the inaugural Women's Rocket Mortgage Tour. That is such a big deal. So congratulations to you. And of course, Rob, three-time uh, Rocket Mortgage World Pro Champion. Three. Pretty sweet to be able to bring that home and by one point, a nice little snag there. Rob, you kind of are showing everybody that you know what to do and you execute on the day and you can kind of go up and show everybody what's up, but competition was heavier this year on the men's side. How is that for you as you've now been part of it for three seasons, three winning seasons, but way more depth, especially at Taos? Yeah, this year was a, was a challenging year for me and that had to do with the stiff competition from the mainstay pro tour of men. They're all having great starts, good consistent runs, and they're figuring out what it takes to win. A lot of them are now on the top step of the podium. Simone, uh, Michael, Nolan, Drew Duffy, just a ton of names all over this year on the top step. And uh, it's shown them that they have what it takes too. What do you think is in the books for next season? Do you think they're gonna be more competitors? Do you think that level of competition is gonna go up? What are you guys kind of expecting as we move into the next season? I really wanna push the staff and all the sponsors and everyone to bring the races home to the East Coast for me. I'm sick of getting on these planes and, and racing out on in, in the away field out on the West Coast. Tuba, like what about you? Yeah, I I definitely expect more competitors on the women's side because I feel like the first couple of races kind of went a little bit under the radar for the girls' uh, races. Uh, but I heard when we were in class for the final, a lot of the girls that were there for the first time, like they are definitely going to try to make an effort to show up to more of the races next season. And I hope that more girls come and show up and try to race because it's a lot of fun and it is more fun when there's more people and a bigger competition. So again, congratulations from the World Pro Ski Tour, Rocket Mortgage Women's Champion Tuva Norby and our three-time Rocket Mortgage Champion Rob Cohn. Thanks again for your time, guys, and congratulations on an epic season. <laughs>